Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 25 iPhone tricks that every iPhone user should know. Now, this video is mostly for people that are new to iPhone or maybe even new to iOS 13. If you're a long time iPhone user, you probably will know a lot of them, but you might find some that you don't know. So here are 25 iPhone tricks that every iPhone user should know. Starting off with the first one. Now, when you set an alarm on your iPhone, of course, you will get a snooze button, which will allow you to snooze, but that is sometimes hard to find. If you're sleeping, you're sleepy, you wanna snooze, that will be way harder to find to tap that button right there. But you can snooze your alarm simply by pressing one of the volume buttons. Just press one of the buttons and you're good to go. As you can see, you're snoozing right there. So don't do that. Wake up when your alarm, your alarm goes off. But if you just want to snooze, you can do that quickly using the volume buttons. When you're on any app on your iPhone, any stock app of iOS, you can open its settings simply by using Siri. So here I'm on Safari. I want to go to the Safari settings, just launch Siri, open preferences. So all you gotta say is open preferences and it will open the settings of that app. When you're on Safari, if you're on the landscape mode, you can swipe down with three fingers like this to show all the tabs. So all you gotta do is just swipe down like this and it will show you all your tabs. And of course you can easily close any of them or switch between them from here. You can set Safari on a full screen mode easily on iOS 13. You will see those letters right there. All you gotta do is just swipe up on them. As you can see, it will hide the bottom and the top bar on Safari. And now you will have this awesome full screen mode. Now you want to bring back the toolbars. All you gotta do is just swipe down there again and you're good to go. Now there is also a new cool, a cool trick on Safari, which isn't new. It has been here before, but you can use two fingers to tap on any link and open it on a new tab. So if I open, if I tap on that link with one finger, it will open it here on the same tab. But if I go ahead and tap with two fingers, you can see that now it will open it on a new tab. When browsing a web page on Safari, you want to find something like a word, a particular word on a website, you can go ahead and tap the share button and then just swipe down and you will find here a button that says find on page. Just tap right there and you can find anything you want on that page. So tap right there what you want to find, click the search bar and as you can see right there you will find all those words that are basically that correspond to the word that you're searching for. When typing the name of a website on Safari, you can easily add .com or .org or whatever that website uses. So all you gotta do, you can see here, the dot, just tap and hold on it and you will have the options right here. So tap and hold, and you can go ahead and add .us, .org, .net, anything you want directly from here. So the trackpad on iOS is very useful. So basically a force touch here and you will be able to move the cursor anywhere you want on a text. If you wanna start selecting text, you can just tap with the other finger anywhere on the trackpad and you can go ahead and easily select any text you want. You can use a few very, very easy gestures to easier select text on iOS. So let's say I wanna select one word right there, the last word where the cursor is, you can double tap anywhere on the screen and you will be able to select that word. But what if you wanna select the entire row? All you gotta do is just triple tap and easier like that, you can go ahead and select an entire row. With iOS 13, Apple has added a very easy way to select like messages or emails or notes, basically anything that you have on a list like this. All you gotta do is just swipe with two fingers like this and you can go ahead and select them and also of course deselect them the same way, just like swipe down to select, swipe up to deselect. With iOS 13, Apple has added a new volume hood to iOS, which of course is very, very welcome. The old one was just trash. Now you can see the volume hood right here. It will show for like a second and will move away. But if you just want to bring it back, you can go ahead and simply swipe from the left to the right here and bring it back. And that will last just like the couple of seconds after it's gone. So you can see right here, it's gone. I can swipe there and bring it back. So just like a second or two be after it goes away, you can do that. After a while, you won't be able to do that. So just like that, it goes away 
and of course bring it back and of course you can continue here to move up and down with your finger to change the volume this next one is actually pretty cool now i have done this on a previous video and i was surprised how many people didn't know about this ios feature now you're on your home screen of course you can swipe here to go to the left or to the right move between your pages on the home screen but you can also just tap right here so down here just tap right tap left in order to move between different pages on your ios device you can see how cool is that you will have like basically hidden buttons right here that allow you to easier move between pages on ios on ios 13 you can quickly calculate anything you want on the spotlight search you can even convert stuff basically anything you want to calculate and convert can be done quickly from the spotlight search so all you gotta do here is just basically enter the numbers just like you would do on like maybe your calculator app so Let's just go ahead and add that plus. Let me find the plus here. Okay, there it is. Add another number right here. As you can see, anything can be calculated right there on the spotlight search. With iOS 13, Apple has made the live videos longer and it also has added a very cool feature to iOS 13, which allows to turn any of your live pictures into video clips so all you gotta do is just open a live picture tap the share button right there and just scroll down here and you will have an option that says save as a video and just like that you can turn any of your live pictures into videos on the notes app it will be very easy for you to move text on the note so here i have this row right here i want to move it up there all i gotta do is just triple tap of course to select it and then force touch on that text and as you can see right now i can just move it anywhere i want so you can see the cursor right there i can go ahead and just place it just release it at the cursor where i want to place it and it's as easy as that you can move any text you want you can also do that between notes so you select it here you tap with the other finger to go back and you can drag it to another note now if you want to quickly scan something on your ios 13 device you have two options to quickly do that one is force touch on the notes icon right there and you will be able to scan a document directly from here as easy as that you can start scanning or just go to the control center right there on the notes force touch scan document and as easy as that you can even do that from the lock screen you will be able to scan anything you want on the iMessage app, you want to delete a message or anything you want here, you can do that simply by pressing with two fingers on one of the messages. And as you can see, as easy as that, you will enter the edit mode. And of course, then you can go ahead and select any of the messages. So all you got to do is just double, just tap with two fingers on one of the messages and it will enter the edit mode. And of course, if you want to react to a message, you can tap and hold one message and wait for this menu right here to react to it or you can simply just double tap and quickly it will show you the menu which of course allows you to react to your messages. Now if you want to react with an emoji stickers on an iMessage of course you can do that. You can simply just go ahead tap and drag an, an emoji right here to react to a message. But what you can do is use the other finger to make it bigger or smaller and also rotate it any way you want. So you can see right there you can rotate that any way you want and of course just release it anywhere you want to react on the iMessage app on iOS 13 it will be very very easy for you to share your location with anyone you're contacting all you gotta do is just go ahead and type I'm at and then it will give you the option right here to send your current location so you don't have to type anything just type I'm at and the current location will show up up here now of course you will have to have location services enabled for this to show up when taking a screenshot on ios 13 you will have here a new feature so if you take a screenshot you can simply tap on it and it will show you the share menu now from here you can go ahead and send it on a message of course on email anywhere you want you can copy that and of course you will have other options here like airdrop it or save it to files you probably know that on the app store on ios 13 now there is a new update page where you will find all the app updates you can quickly dismiss this with a gesture of course you can go ahead and tap the dumb button but if you don't want to reach there you can just type like an l shape here just like that and as easy as that you can go ahead and dismiss 
dismiss that page. Now, if you just swipe down, it will just show you the updates. It will basically just scroll. But if you do that L gesture, it will dismiss that page. And of course, now you have the ability to delete any of your apps directly here from the update page. So you go to the update page, you see like your updates here and you see there an app that you don't want to have anymore on your device, you can go ahead and easier delete it simply by swiping like this and it will show you the delete button. Just tap on it and it will delete it from your iPhone. Now notice that this one delete, just the update, it will completely delete the entire app. You probably know about the new gestures of iOS 13, like the copy and the paste. So pinch into copy, pinch out to paste. You can use that on the calculator app as well. So you want to copy the result. You can do that easy simply by swiping in so like pinch in with three fingers. And of course you can do the same to paste it as easy as that. The files app on iOS 13 is one of the apps that got the most updates and the most new features. Like you will see your files right here. This is the way they're organized. But if you swipe down, it will show you a menu right here, which allows you to organize your files better. So you will have different views of your files right there. You can see like this list view and also you can sort them based on name, date, size, kind or tags. So that's it for this video guys. These are 25 tricks that every iPhone user should know of course in order to get a better experience on their iPhone and of course perform a lot of tasks easier. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys learned something from this video. As I said at the beginning this video is mostly focused on people that are new to iOS, new to iOS 13 or maybe they just got a new iPhone. They moved from other devices like Android, for example, which they should. So don't mind that. So basically, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you on the next one.